And welcome to another unboxing. Today we're unboxing the Ryobi, or Ryobi, 1900 PSI electric pressure washer. So I picked this up from Home Depot and it runs about 140 or something like that. So, if you need assistance with this unit, please call. It's got the instructions right on top here. Nice and big. Connecting the unit. Um, shows how to hook it up and all that. Sweet. So here it is. Wow, looks like it's got a nice long cord here. thing out of there. All right, so it has, there's the unit there. Register outdoor tools for a chance to win. So you guys got a good nozzle there or something. Okay, so. Here's that, it has pretty much the handle here. I think that attached like that, it just goes in there. It locks in place there. Use this for different nozzles. Hoses will just attach right onto that, I believe. Did I take that out or just screw that on there like that? Perhaps, or do I take this out? I'm not sure. Nope, looks like that'll just stay on there. Screw that on there. On that. Alright, so I think it's a 25 foot um, core here. It should uh, be bind resistant so it doesn't get any uh, twisted up. Uh, I like that this has a nice long cord on here. Let's see how long that is, really. Okay. have a cord. Alright, there we go. So, let's measure this here, shall we? Not going to be an exact measurement, but there's about six feet. Good golly. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty. About thirty-five foot cord there. So nice and long. That's good. I think this is our nozzle here. Let's open that up too. These uh, attachments, I don't know if this is adjustable or not, but usually you just push, okay, hold this back, push that in there, and that snaps up in place, and that holds that in place. Alright, so it has a nice little uh, soap dispenser here. Don't add bleach. You hook up your hose right here, starting instructions. It's all nice there, high pressure is no soap. Low pressure soap. Abrasive, gentle. Automatic.
Prismatic Soap Dilution, 20 to 1. Use pressure washer detergent only, so you don't want to just put whatever in there. And soap nozzle selection guide. Okay, so over here, we have different nozzles that you can add into your uh, has this one as one of the main is just a different nozzle and then these as well are just different ones you can put in there so it's pretty cool it has uh, three different nozzles and those are all uh, standard with that so that's pretty sweet so the gun can go I'm looking for let's go up here like this Shows a locked in place. Has this handle here. And just push this button. Handle goes up just like that. And it's got these little wheels on there. You can roll it around. So that's kind of nice. Has a belt here. You can put your uh, put the hose on there. Wrap it around, keep the hose on there nice and neat. What else here? So it's got power on and off. Uh, looking for a place to like wrap, be able to wrap the cord up. So let's put a hose. Let's go over there. Let's take that off. a place to put the uh, cord on there very easily. Maybe wrap the cord around or something. I guess you can do that. It's not bad. Uh, but there might be a place just specifically for the cord, a cord wrap. But be that as it may. Nice long cord, like that. Okay, lock this place right there on the back cord. There we go. So, um, that's pretty much what it comes with here. And uh, we're gonna go out and use this on, maybe wash the truck, uh, get some moss off the ground, um, use it on my vinyl fence, uh, stuff like that. Do some. Okay. Stuff like that. So it's pretty nice and compact. It's got this easy carry handle on here. Probably weighs ah there is my cord here. Probably weighs um, maybe 15 pounds, I don't know. Not too heavy. And it stores away pretty pretty easily in this little uh, compact area right here. So it's uh, 1900 psi and 1.2 gallons per minute. So um, be showing you how, how it runs, how loud it is, and uh, be checking that out soon. So, uh, we'll catch you then, guys. So, guys, um, I got this Zep all in one pressure wash liquid, and I got a gallon of water with a little bit of spare at the top. And um, this dilution ratio is six ounces per gallon of water. For heavier stains, use 25 ounces per gallon of water. Do not use full strength. Okay, so pick this up at Home Depot and get online or whatever. So we're just gonna add some here. Oh my, wasn't very effective at pouring there. All right, that's about six ounces. And that's the dilution ratio that you want to do. So this actually makes quite a bit of uh, liquid here. And that 
is ready for our pressure washer now. So we can go ahead and pour that in there. All right, let's add that soap to our power washer. So this is diluted in a gallon to six ounces ratio. <clears throat> so we're just gonna pour that in there. Oh wow, not the most, probably a funnel would be better, but that's okay. And this is just like all purpose uh, soap for vehicles and siding and all kinds of stuff. So that's that. So with this, with the soap, the, uh, the nozzle you want is the blue one and that's easy to remember because you get blue for blue. So let's uh, get this up and rolling, shall we? Okay, so we'll be uh, hooking up our uh, Ryobi pressure washer here. And first of all, what we want to do is get our gun assembled here. It just pops out like that. Push this in here. Just turn it in there and turn it clockwise. That locks in place. Okay. And we're going to get our hose. somewhere safe where we're not going to lose it. Attach our hose one here. Just like that. Okay. And we're going to attach our pressure hose to the gun here. Alright, so that's that attached, ready to go. Next, we want to so we want to hook up our hose right here. So that's what we'll do. Just get our hose. loose there okay and even has like the starting instructions on here so it says attach the hose attach the other things turn the hose on full water get a steady flow coming out plug it in and then turn it on so in those steps we're uh, going to now Got our, all our hoses attached, so I'm gonna go turn on the water real quick. All right, when you do this, you just wanna ensure that you have a full, no kinks in your water and you wanna make, or in your hose, and you wanna make sure it's turned on all the way. So now that that is done, this little guy, let's just prop this up here. It's got a handy little, wow, if I do that, my, I guess if I do that, my soap's gonna come out. So um, we can carry this pretty easily. So it says, let a steady flow of water come out for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna plug it in and uh, turn it on here. Okay, so I'm just going to let this water come out after about 30 seconds. This is just going to purge our lines here. Okay, and we're all plugged in and ready to go. So the first thing I think I'm going to do... is uh, 
kind of pressure wash the uh, the fence out here. So I will go show you that real quick. All right, so now that this is about 30 seconds, we're going to remove our nozzle. This is our soap nozzle. And to put these in there, all you want to do is pull back on that, push that in there, and that'll snap back up in place, okay? Okay, now we can turn on our thing. And let's... Uh, gonna dispense snow soap too so <laughs> there on the truck a little bit. These wheels are really got a lot of brake dust on them. That just doesn't seem like a lot of pressure with the soap one. So this is uh it says it's for siding and stuff like that. It just doesn't seem like it's uh that seems pretty weak there, but uh Pretty much for just dispensing uh, the soap right now and then we'll uh, switch uh, nozzles there and see how much uh, better that does so I'm gonna go ahead and switch from the soap nozzle to the other one now this yellow one says kind of use caution when we're uh, using this on vehicles or whatever so it should be quite a bit more powerful let's see here Oh my goodness, that's way better. So I do have a foam, a foaming attachment for that. We're going to try this too, but without these, this tire here, especially this rim has all these little tiny holes in here. It's, it's impossible to clean without a pressure washer. I mean, it's just, you'd have to have to get like a Q-tip and everything to get this a toothbrush or whatever. So... <laughs> So it says use caution with this uh, tip on vehicles, um, but as you can see, it's all right um, so far. I just don't want to get like super close on it, and uh, I'm going to be using that foaming attachment too. So let's go um, check out the fence. I got a vinyl fence, and it's got a bunch of moss and junk growing on it or whatever, so we're going to go clean that off. All right, so we got this vinyl fence, and it's got like lichens and stuff growing on it, and spider webs and and junk all over. So um, we're gonna try to wash that off of here. Let's see how well that works. All right, 
die, Mr. Lichen. <laughs> Get this side here. All right, so that's just the medium one, and pretty much even that lichen that was on there got blasted off. So this is way, way better for cleaning than a garden. I was using a garden hose before and like kind of a scrub brush or a towel as was going over each one. It just took me like a half hour to clean this fence. So this is probably gonna make that job a lot easier. So let's move on to another task here. So we're gonna be checking out this other nozzle, the final most powerful one. Just attach it just like that and we're using this only on um, masonry or concrete so what I want to do is uh, these cracks in my driveway I used to have to or at the end of my driveway I used to have to like get them out with a weed eater and it's uh, not a lot of fun so let's uh let's see how this thing does here So that works really good. Not only did it like pretty much blast out all the plants in there, this one had like a thick like weed and it pretty much just cut right through the tap root. So that's pretty much all clean in seconds. I used to do this with a weed eater and it would take me um, a lot of rocks hitting my face and uh, about 15 minutes to go all the way up and down there. So as you can see, I just did like this much in a few seconds so this thing is i'm super impressed with it um, there's all three nozzles there the soap dispensing the second one and the third one so everything works great actually really happy with this little guy um yeah i'm gonna do i got a foaming uh attachment too i'll do a review on that later and uh but this is the 1900 psi one at 1.2 gallons per minute by ryobi i'll leave a link in the description below if you guys can check that out on amazon if you want and i am an affiliate an associate so i do get a little kickback from that so it helps out the channel so uh, thanks for watching this review guys um i think i'm have, gonna have plenty of uses for this thing a uh, great little tool it's not leaking at all as you can see here so all right we'll uh, catch you next review you guys have a good one